All right. <clears throat> um, it's only been just a, probably about three minutes since I made the last video explaining what I was going to try to do. Unfortunately, I couldn't videotape myself doing it, but uh, I don't wanna, I'm just using my iPhone. I'm the only one here, so. Um, but what I've done is I just stuck a big pry bar through the, the end of the rod, and that pulls flat down against the, the surface of the block. Um, and then I'm not going to hurt my rod, obviously, because I'm replacing it. <clears throat> so, what that does is keeps the engine from being able to spin on around. Once the crank gets to a certain position, that rod, that pry bar will lock it from being able to spin any farther. Now, Yamaha makes a tool that will hold your magneto for you to keep it from trying to spin the engine as you turn your puller. But, uh, I don't like to spend a bunch of money on stuff like that if I can do it myself, so... Um, but anyway, I just had this set up how you all saw it and uh, put my ratchet on it, my half inch ratchet with a three quarter inch socket <clears throat> on my puller and just gave it a few turns and it snugged up and got, got a little bit tight and then just popped right off of there. I was kind of surprised. Uh, I worked on a little Suzuki quad runner that I had and I had to pull the magneto on it and it was a, a lot of trouble. Not nearly as easy as this one came off. Uh, I ended up having to take it to the dealer and get them to do it. So, pretty excited about having this off. Uh, no more trouble than I had. So, if anybody ever needs to take the magneto off of one, this is a great way to do it. Um, Cost you about $18 and not too much time. So, hope this was a help. <clears throat>